We've reached the point in our package where we are needing a console command. Console commands are extremely useful and have many different types of applications. In our case, our process command is going to run as a cron job and the idea is that every time it runs, it simply updates any blog posts that have been added or modified. So let's get started in adding a command. In my source directory, I'm going to add a new directory called console. Now, if you have any questions on how we are structuring our directories, visit the directories video. That will give you the insight on this. Inside console, we're going to write a new PHP class called process command. Namespace vic.vt backslash press backslash console. As we've done before, we're going to have to extend the proper class. In this case, the command class. And the one we're looking for is illuminate console command. Once we have done that, let's add our command signature. This would be, of course, what is used to call our command inside PHP Artisan. So in our case, press process. We need to add a description. This will be shown right beside it when you run PHP Artisan. Updates, blog posts. And finally, we need our handle method. Inside our handle method, that's where the bulk of the command will happen. For now, let's just leave a comment. Now to add our command, we need to go to our press base service provider and inside our register method, we have to register our command. And we do that by calling a method called commands. Commands expects an array and inside this array, we're simply going to pass in the path to our command. Console backslash process command class. So now inside our press blog Laravel project, we're going to run PHP Artisan. And now if we take a look at the press namespace, we see that we have our press process command. Great. Let's add one more thing to that and test it out. This info. And we're going to say hello. It's just a really quick test that we can run. PHP Artisan press process. And there we go. We see our output right there. So our command is now working and ready. Now in the next video, we're going to flush out this command and really get it to work using the code that we've already written.